For Brian King, shock and despair still one year after her experience with an Austin police officer. I've become afraid of the people who are supposed to protect me and to take care of me. That fear, she said, came from a clash with Officer Brian Richter. You see your driver's license, you're being stopped for speeding. What happened is caught on his patrol car video, obtained exclusively by the KVU Defenders and the Austin American Statesman. Officer Richter says in this report that he asked King to close her car door should she try to run away. All right, take your seat back in your car so we can close the door. Put your feet back in the car so I can close the door. When she didn't immediately comply, he attempts to forcibly remove her, and things escalate fast. No, why are you killing me? Oh, my God. As their confrontation plays out, King is taken to the ground a second time. In his report, Officer Richter says he acted so quickly because King reached to the passenger side of the car. He says he didn't know if she had a weapon. He also said King showed what he called a, quote, uncooperative attitude and resisted by clutching her steering wheel, actions not caught on camera. King was charged with resisting arrest, a charge prosecutors immediately dismissed when they saw this video. I was trying to figure out why is this happening to me. Oh my God. I was genuinely like fearful for my life. I didn't know what was going to happen. And literally, I didn't understand why it was happening to me. But it doesn't end there. A few minutes later on her way to jail, a calmer King talks to another APD officer, Patrick Spradlin, about relations between officers and the black community. Because of their appearance and whatnot. Officer Spradlin is heard offering possible explanations about why some people fear African Americans. I can give you a really good, a really good idea why it might be that way. Violent tendencies. And I want, you to, I want you to think about that. That's why a lot of the white people are afraid, and I don't blame them. Yeah. Some of them, because of their appearance and whatnot, some of them are very intimidating. After more than a year, the entire case is getting a new look. At the time, Officer Richter received the lowest level of discipline, counseling and training. But now, Police Chief Art Acevedo said the department is doing a full review, both of Officer Richter's use of force and Officer Spradlin's comments. The chief says he found those particularly offensive. I can tell you that those comments are not consistent with the expectations, the mindset, I think the uh, mindset that we want of our folks or anybody in law enforcement. Anybody. I was in disbelief. I was. King says she wants something done. If you've wronged someone and you have not been reprimanded, then how do you know that you've you're wrong. For her, she said the clash between her and Officer Richter has forever tarnished how she views the police.